In this video, I'm going to talk about two major topics that have been in the news recently. Firstly, we're going to talk about the password management solution 1Password, which recently detected suspicious activity within their environment. And then we're going to look at iOS devices being targeted by zero-click exploits. Today's definitely a good one, and you won't want to miss everything. This is my series on cyber threat intelligence, and if you're interested in this type of content, we regularly go through all of the interesting news topics in the cybersecurity space. Let's get straight into it and start looking at 1Password. So, for anyone that doesn't know, 1Password is a password manager and digital vault application designed to help you securely manage your passwords and sensitive information. It's a password management solution that I use myself and have been using for around two years now. And it's definitely good at its job. So before we dive into this incident, you'll firstly need more context. As the incident didn't just come out of anywhere, it was because of a previous incident at another organization. So the identity service provider Okta, who provides single sign-on technology to companies, disclosed a new security incident that allowed unidentified threat actors to leverage stolen credentials to access its support case management system and, sense and steal sensitive HAR files that can be used to infiltrate the networks of its customers. So you can probably guess where this is going, 1Password was one of those customers. Then moving on to the specific breach now, the breach was said to have occurred using a session cookie after a member of the 1Password IT team shared a HAR file with Okta support. And for anyone that doesn't know, HAR files contain a comprehensive record of all the HTTP requests and responses made by a web browser when loading a web page. The threat actor then attempted various actions, such as trying to access the IT member's user's dashboard and updating an existing IDP linked to their production Google environment. Although they had activated the IDP and requested a report of the administrative users, the actor was then blocked from accessing the IT team member's dashboard. The company became aware of the malicious activity when the IT team received an email about the requested administrative user report. So it was then obviously spotted and stopped in its tracks. So in terms of incident response, what did 1Password do afterwards and are customers still safe? Well, they went on to say that they've taken loads of steps to make sure that they're secure, such as by denying logins from non-Octa IDPs, reducing session times for administrative users, tightening MFA, and decreasing the number of super admins. Everything that you'd more or less expect following an incident like this. So what does this mean in terms of threat intelligence? Well, unfortunately at this time, the threat actors are still unidentified and it's impacted approximately 1% of Okta's customers base. And that includes companies like Beyond Trust and Cloudflare. So there's not much to go off in terms of further attacks or what these attackers normally do compared to other incidents that they've taken. So we're quite in the dark still, but there's lots of research being done. And we're now starting to see a lot of these supply chain attacks, whereby once one company is compromised, it's starting to affect other organizations. So definitely one to keep your eye on. That then closes the one password chapter and we'll move on to iOS. So what we'll be talking about today doesn't just affect iOS 17, it affects all iOS. That's just in there because it's the latest version available at the moment. So let's get into it. It initially emerged on June 2023 that iOS devices had been targeted by zero-click exploits, weaponizing then zero-day security flaws that have leveraged the iMessage platform to deliver a malicious attachment that can gain complete control over a device and user data. And for anyone that doesn't know, a zero-click exploit means there does not need to be any user interaction. The attacker just needs to send something to the iPhone and there you go, it is exploited. In simple terms, obviously. Now, where this starts to get interesting is something called Triangle DB spyware. Triangle DB, a previously unknown spyware, was discovered on several dozen iPhones belonging to the Russian infosec giant's top and middle management. It's dubbed the espionage campaign Operation Triangulation. The scale and the identity of the threat actor is presently unknown. However, there has been quite a bit of research conducted showing the great lengths the threat actors are going to to hide their tracks. So you can imagine it's probably going to be quite difficult. 
the Triangle DB implant, which targets Apple iOS devices, has been discovered to consist of four distinct modules. These modules are designed to record microphone audio, extract iCloud keychain data, steal information from SQLite databases used by various apps, and also estimate the device's location. So you can see they definitely know what they're doing. And then looking at the implant deployment process itself, it involves various validation stages to ensure that the target device is not associated with a research environment. The attack chain starts with an invisible iMessage attachment that then triggers a series of steps to deliver the implant to the user. Notably, the microphone module can suspend recording when the device screen is on or the battery is low. So you can see that their focus is remaining on being undetected. The location module also uses GSM data for triangulation when the GPS data is unavailable. So very sophisticated attack campaign as you can see. The key takeaways from this in terms of threat intelligence are is that the threat actors are going to great lengths to avoid detection and they have a great understanding of iOS internals as they have been seen using private undocumented APIs during the attacks. So as mentioned at the beginning, this is known as Operation Triangulation and it's definitely one you'll want to keep your eye on. Because if you see anything like this, you'll want to run for the hills. Hopefully you've enjoyed that content and if you do like seeing content like this, definitely click the link in the bio where you'll be prompted to join my Discord where we discuss all of this type of stuff and I keep you updated on the news. Do definitely hit the like button as well as it massively helps out the channel and it tells me that you're enjoying this type of content. I can make it either more high level where we talk less technical or I can even make it more technical. It depends on whatever you guys are interested in seeing. I just love sharing this type of content.